And luckily for those crews, and I think the weather should be in their favor. Granted, they'll need extra water bottles because it's a hot one out there, Lisa. Yeah, toasty one, and it starts already this morning. Here. We've got that pattern of hot and windy weather holding today for some time with some periods of smoke in there. It's not until Friday that we see that chance for some rain uh, moving in. So it's holding off a little bit longer uh, here for this week. That doesn't mean that we're still we're not getting it, that it's leaving the forecast. It's still there. We also want to talk about that smoke. First of all, this morning, the main concern for the surface smoke will be in uh, eastern North Dakota, but especially into that northwestern part of our viewing area up by Devil's Lake, back over to Grand Forks, where we may see some of of that thicker, more high concentrated smoke affecting us down in that area here this morning. Elsewhere, we will have that haze hanging around overhead uh, from the wildfire smoke that's passing by well north of us or well above us rather. Uh, but to the to the surface, there will still be a little bit of that smoke affecting us. Some of us reporting air quality in that moderate or yellow range here this morning. But watch as I moved ahead into tomorrow morning. We're looking at some clearing conditions, still a little bit of smoke hanging around, but much better for your Wednesday. So if you're concerned about that, tomorrow may be a better day for you to be outdoors than today, especially in places in the north and east. Check this out. This is our home of economy sky cam at Grand Forks. Here's the sun getting blotted out yet again by some of that smoky haze here this morning as it's rising above uh, the, uh, the horizon there. We do have visibility down in Langdon, but I just checked. It looks like we've got some fog going on there, a little mist, and maybe even a little bit of drizzle happening. We'll show you that in a second. Warm across the region. We're at 72 in Fargo and in Grand Forks. It feels muggy as well. And here's a look at some of your spotty, very light showers. Northern Valley, you can see right over Langdon, we've got a little shower there. And then back over toward Hallock and Cavalier. Most of us on the dry side though here for today. So here's a look at our hourly planner. Temperatures are going to make their way up pretty quickly by the time we get into the afternoon right back into those 90s. Now I know that I want to show this again just so uh, we know what's coming our way and maybe it will make you feel a little bit better as you're out in the heat the next couple of days. Starting our clock here closer to 6 a.m. on Friday morning. We're not seeing any rain until that point, but our rainfall potential really starts to take over. You see a very colorful map heading into Saturday morning. So this is just over 24 hours that potential for a decent rain. So not out of the forecast just delayed a little bit here. So uh, something to be looking forward to even in this heat. Sounds great. Thank you, Lisa.